Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna simply show you how you can create ads and monetize your applications with AdMob. It's a simple way and you can earn extra money with your applications. I hope you enjoy. So let's go and open Xcode and create a new project. This is gonna be a single view application and let's call it AdMob. Language Swift, device is just iPhone, it's fine. Go next, create. Now I'm gonna copy the bundle identifier and I'm gonna close this. Let's go and open Safari. Here in Safari, I've already opened Firebase and in Firebase, you need to create a new application. So let's go and get started for free. Go and create a new project and call this AdMob or whatever you want and my country is United Kingdom create new project now that you created the project you need to uh, install Firebase into your app so let's go and press this and the iOS bundle ID is the one that I copied let's go add app and the Google service info p list got downloaded so let's continue we have to initialize our pod file and then install Firebase in it. So let's go and do this. Open terminal and redirect to your project. The way you do this is CD, stands for change directory, and mine is in desktop, then CD YT, and then CD AdMob. Here, right now, I'm in my AdMob folder, as you can see. And here I have to say pod init. Now I initialized uh, my pod file and I can say open pod file like this. My pod file opens and in here I'm going to go and uh, install the pods that I need. As you can see here it says we need to install the core of Firebase. So pod single quote Firebase slash core and I will also go and install AdMob. So I will say pod Firebase slash add mob and close the single quote there now you have to save this file and close it after you close it you have to say in your terminal pod install and you will see our pods are getting installed and after that you continue and it says that you need to write fire app configure into your did finish launching with options and finish so let's go and open our project. In the terminal I will say open dot and it will open my folder and you have to open the XC workspace. You have to open this one that includes your pod files. After you open that you have to go into your app delegate and say import Firebase and after you import your Firebase you have to say fire app dot configure. Like this, your uh, app is connected with your Firebase. Now, one last thing, here that we downloaded the Google uh, service info p list, we have to drag and drop it to our project. We drag and drop it right here, copy items, copy items if needed, and finish. Now you see mine has a dash 13 number, that means that I've downloaded 13 uh, Google service p lists. I need to delete that and the dash in order to work, otherwise it's not gonna work. Perfect, now that we created this, we have to go and sign up for AdMob. Right here, I've opened AdMob and you can sign up. I will just sign in and it will take me to my analytics page. And this is the analytics page right here. And you have to go to monetize and add a new app. So monetize a new app right here. And because our app is not in the App Store, we have to put it manually. Add your app manually, and our app is called AppMob. And platform is gonna be iOS. Add app. And here it says what ad unit you want to add. You can add a banner or interstitial. I'm just gonna show you in this video how to add a banner ad. So let's go, press on banner. And here you can see what type of ads you can show into your application is gonna be just image or just text 
but if you just uh, deselect one of these your ad revenue might be lower than usual so recommended is to have both of them and here you can say uh, whenever you want the ads to refresh 60 seconds is a good amount and here at unit name you can specify whatever name you want I'll just say it banner ad like this then you can press save now this is ticked and you have to optionally uh, link it with Firebase in order to work with analytics. Let's go and link this. Link to Firebase and your iOS bundle ID is the one that we copied before. So let's continue and here is our Firebase project. AdMob, continue. And this is now done. So you can say done. Here you have the app ID. So let's go and copy this. Underneath where we said uh, Fire App Configure, you have to say GAD Mobile Ads dot configure with application ID. And you have to open double quotes and enter the app ID in there. Now that we uh, did this, let's go and create the ad unit into our storyboard. In here, this is our storyboard. You want to go and grab a UI view. This UI view is going to represent your ad. Now, the standard ad unit uh, contains the size of 320 width with 50 height, but there are different sizes. I'm going to show you just the standard one. So let's go and add some constraints. We want this to be pinned at the very bottom, zero, and to have a width and height. The width we want to have is 320 and height of 50. Go and add two constraints, like this, three constraints. And also you want to uh, center it horizontally into the container. So add one constraint. Click refresh and you will see your ad goes right here. And if you go to identity inspector, you need to specify the class as GAD banner view. It's automatically going to fulfill it for you. That means it's a Google ad banner. After that, you need to open your assistant editor and connect this outlet into your view controller. And the way you do this is right click and drag or control, control click and drag and name it something like banner view. And you have to connect. Now that we connected this, it's giving you an error because the view controller does not know what Google Ad Banner View is. And the way you fix this, you have to import right here Google Mobile Ads. And as you can see now, it recognizes and the error goes away. Now let's close our assistant editor and open our view controller. Now in our view controller here in view did load, you want to write your code. What you want to do is you want to make a request. So let's go and create this request. Let request equals GAD request. Just like this. And you want to specify the test devices of this uh, request. So request.test devices. This is an array of test devices. And here you want to say KGAD uh, simulator ID. Because we're going to use the simulator for this project, I'm going to put the test devices, the simulator. And like this, I'm going to see the ad appearing in my simulator. After you do this, you want to go and say banner view dot add unit. And you have to add the add unit. The add unit we're going to use is the one that specifies right here. That we, when we created the add unit, it gave us an add unit ID. And you have to copy this one and go and put it in there. And you want to say banner view dot root view controller equals self. Now, this root view controller is a view controller that's going to show the ad. And it's going to be our initial view controller. And after you do all this, you want to say banner view dot load request. And the request we created above is request. And let's go and run this and see how it looks like. As you can see, we run it and it says here, nice job, you're displaying a 320 times 50 test ad from AdMob. Now, this is a test ad because in here we specify the test device is a simulator. If your application goes live, 
this banner is gonna show the initial ad unit that you created and you're gonna get paid whenever someone views it or uh, clicks on it. Now, if you try to run this on your initial device, it's not gonna work. For that to work, you have to create a provisioning profile with your device ID in there and then run the project with that provisioning profile. I'm not gonna show you how you can do this. For, for most of you that have an app in the App Store already, know how to create a provisioning profile, so I don't think it's, you're gonna have a problem creating that. And as I said, there are different uh, sizes of ads. You can go and uh, see all the sizes there are and you can select the one that most fits on you. And this is the end of our video, guys. As you could see, it was very easy to implement ads into your applications. So if you haven't already, go ahead and add that code into your application and monetize your apps. If there's anything you would like to see in the channel, don't forget to comment in the section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.